Welcome to our new video on how to disable CPU core which increase laptop battery backup and also solve CPU heating problem in laptops and as well as desktops. Before going further, let's first know the benefits of disabling CPU cores. By disabling CPU cores, we can increase the battery backup of laptops. You know more core means more power uses by processor and less core means less power uses by processor and this way we can increase battery backup of laptop by disabling or you can say switching off some of cpu code if uh, there is no such requirement of high performance next benefit of disabling cpu core is to solve CPU heating problems. More CPU core result in more heating of CPU and if there is a problem with your laptop with extensive CPU heating of CPU then you can disable some of CPU core uh, to solve heating problem. If you disable some core of CPU then remaining core of CPU run a little bit faster than normal this is not the double but you can say a little bit faster than the situation when all the cpu cores are running to avail the benefit of disabling cpu core let's know how to disable cpu core and enable it again to default setting means all core runnings if uh, the situation allows to disable cpu core first click on windows icon and then click all programs accessories and then run and in run command box type ms configuration command that is msconfig and click on ok if you are not an administrator you need to enter administrator password to access this option and in system configuration box click on second tab that is boot in you can see here all the operating system installed in your system and in my desktop there is only one that is windows 7 and select that and click on advanced option in boot advanced options by default all the cores of processor are running and to limit the number of processor you need to select the check box against the number of processor you can select it here after checking this option you can select the number of cores which you require to run for your laptop and mine processor is a quad core so i can select here four out of four cores and i am selecting here two cores to save battery or reduce cpu heating and here is maximum memory option you can also limit your memory that is RAM. After checking this, click on OK and click on Apply option and then OK. And you are prompted to restart your system. And after restart, let's check what happened. Again, access MS configuration window and again click on boot that is the second tab in system configuration and click on advanced option first selecting the operating system of your laptop and in boot advanced options you can see here only two cores are active and to again access all the cores you will need to switch it to default settings and to do that uh, just uncheck the number of processor and click on ok and click on apply and click on ok and then restart your pc and after restart you can again access ms configuration window
select boot then advanced options and now check the box against number of processor now you can see all the cores for from which you can select and the system or your laptop is switched to default settings in this way you can switch off or switch on the cores of processor in your laptop or desktop if you have any question regarding this then please comment below and thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and subscribe our channel for more technical videos like this thank you